again to Morpheus Chair, the program where you learn how to build robots in your comfy chairs. So in the previous program, we, we set up everything in our local computers to be able to access the API of Vector. In this video, we're going to introduce two new concepts. The first one is the Vector ROS package. This package was developed by BetterBot so thanks a lot, BetterBot, for that. And the other concept is simulation. So why do we need those two? The first one, the Vector ROS package, allows us to build a bridge between the marvelous hardware that Anki has given us with Vector and the marvelous software and the huge library for robotics that ROS has. So with this Vector ROS package, we are able to use everything there is for ROS with Vector. So, very, very useful. The second element is the simulation. The simulation of Vector. Uh, we've developed a simulation for Vector and this allows you to test very fast and develop software for Vector without any need of having a Vector with you all the time and also it allows you to develop much faster because you don't have to charge the, the batteries you don't have to wait for it to to load to start everything you just have it there and you can do any crazy test you want because there's no risk of breaking it or even any physical limitation so for those two reasons to the workbench to the workbench to the workbench so here we are, so now what we are going to do is execute the uh, Vector Cosmo simulation in ROS Development Studio. Uh, everything that you learn and I show you here, you will be able to do it in your own local computer exactly the same way, just that in ROS Development Studio you have it already done for you. So uh, there are two main packages that we use. One is the Cosmos simulation, which has everything related to the simulation of Cosmo and Vector. Uh, and if you have any updates or anything that you want to change or suggest, please create a fork and a pull request with your changes. It will be, I'll, I'll be delighted to see any upgrades or suggestions. Then thanks a lot to BetterBot to create the Vector ROS. You have here the, the Git. I'll leave all these links in the video description. And he'll be, able, he'll be very happy to see if there is any issue. Please comment it to BetterBot. And any suggestion or any update, it will be very well accepted. And then thanks a lot to Anki for the Anki SDK that made this possible also. So without further ado, let's start. So the first thing, we're going to launch the, uh, the Cosmo project. Bear in mind that, uh, that you'll need a ROS Melodic installation to make this work. But in ROS Development Studio, it's already done for you. So the first thing is that we are going to have this notebook where you have some instructions of how to launch the basic stuff that we're going to comment on today. So the first thing is we're going to launch uh, the simulation. I'm going to launch the vector simulation just because all the, the vector demos are related to the vector ROS package are only for vector okay so gazebo cosmo gazebo main vector and we launch it so there we have it so here you can see that in this world the we spawn a, a vector model we also spawn a, a testing cube with qr codes and also we spawn a red ball, like the one uh, made by that demo in the real vector demo, 
by Betabot. Well, it's a it's a sphere, same size more or less. And to launch it, the we're going to launch the ball tracker. So for that, if you go to the instructions, you'll see that we have to launch the simple ball tracker and state that it's a simulation. Okay, so we're going to launch it. There we go. So now we have to open the graphical tools and your local PC, you would have a pop-up with the, the window like this one. There you go. So this is the camera of Vector. So now we need a way of moving the ball. So we can move it through um, the simulation, just moving it like that. Yeah. And another way of moving it is through the the keyboard so we go here there you go so here we have a Cosmo gazebo move red ball so we're going to execute this move red ball there you go so now let me go so if you press I in the keyboard it will move on the X positive axis if you press comma then X minus L Y uh, plus or J uh, Y negative so you can see that the vector has already adapted. Let's have a look to the screen here. There we go. So now if we move the ball to the left, you can see that Cosmo adapts and moves to look for the ball. There you go. It just moves left and right and adapts that to... There you go. Let me move a bit closer. There you go. And there you have it. So... As you can see, if it loses the ball, it just doesn't know where to go, but it works really, really well. So this is an example on how you can execute the same code that was executed in the real robot in, in the simulated robot. And the good thing about simulated is that you don't need the physical robot for it, and you can do as many tests as you want, and when you have it, then you can execute it and do the final tests in the in the real robot. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this simulation has other stuff that we can have a look at it really fast. So if you do ROS topic list, you can see that. You have a camera like the normal robot would have, vector. You can also move it through the command well, so Roslan, topic, and so on. Then you have the IR sensors. You have both four of them because if you go to the simulation, on the lower side of the robot, you have four sensors in the corner, just like the real robot has. And you can use that to detect lines, white lines, and basically to know if you're falling from a, a table, for example. Yeah, so you have all those sensors also, and you have also the IMU, so the orientation, 
that the robot has. So it's uh, basically the same functionality that you have. You have also the functionality of moving the, the lift up and down. So if we go here, let me just, there you go. There you go. So we can Rostopic publish the angle head and let's for example put uh, 57 I think it's the maximum I'm not sure there you go so you can move the head up and down I think the maximum is 0 0.1 I think there you go and you can also move up and down the lift. So Rostopic publish the lift, which is lift height. There you go. And I think the minimum is zero and the maximum is 0 0.8, I think. I'm not sure. Let me just... Oh, there we go. It's negative, okay. So the maximum is zero, the, the minimum is minus 0 0.8. There you have it. And you can, you can use this as the normal robot would to pick up objects like the cube and do any kind of stuff and movement that you needed in the real robot. And this functionality will be added uh, step by step until you have the exact same thing in simulation and in the real robot yeah so that's quite it if you have any questions or any doubts about the this project or any project remember that you have a, a chat here where you have you can make your questions uh, relative to this to Ross development studio yeah and that's all for today if you like the video, leave a like, and if you didn't like it, a dislike, but consider subscribing anyway. And in the next video, what we're going to do is learn how we are, we are able to connect from ROS Development Studio, from the simulation, directly to our physical vector and execute the same programs that we've executed in the simulation and developed there in the real robot without any installation. So, until then... Keep building. Keep building. Keep building.